smoke weed every day. Okay, I know what you're thinking right now, and all I ask is that you give me a chance to explain myself. Okay? Okay? Alright, cool. So today I'm gonna go ahead and talk about clickbaiting because it's something that obviously tons of people do on YouTube and I'm not gonna lie I've even done it myself because I wanted to see what kind of impact it would actually have on my videos and the first thing that I can tell you is even though your videos get more views and they get more clicks they don't get the attention that you really want you get a lot of negativity you get a lot of dislikes you get a lot of bad comments you get a lot of just nothing as well. A lot of the views don't even last for very long. If you look at the analytics on a video, which are the statistics of how long people actually watch your videos for, you can actually tell that when you have a clickbait type video, something with either a really, I wouldn't say false, but very over exaggerated or just blatantly false title and or thumbnail, especially the thumbnail, um, then a lot of people actually just click it, they somehow expect to see nudity, and they expect to just have FAP material right there ready for you on YouTube, which is obviously not true, ever, Kappa. Um, and then they just click out of the video, so they don't even watch that long in your video. So even though your video might have, you know, 100,000 views compared to your other videos that have 10,000 views, um, the average time watched in your video will only be 5 to 10 seconds because people just click the video realize that it's not what they came there for and then just leave and a lot of people will either slap a dislike or negative comment before they head on out as well and I've noticed that through my videos as well so then why do people do it why do people still go through the effort to clickbait well one reason is because of monetization and ads whenever somebody clicks on one of your videos if they're not using an ad block type program then they'll see an ad and when they see the ad you get paid so even if your video isn't very relevant if it's a clickbait type video a lot of people are going to be clicking on your videos and a lot of people are going to be seeing your ads you would think so right I can't actually show you the exact amount that I've made through my video that has over 50,000 views, but it is not nearly as much as you think it would be for a video with 50,000 views. I'll go ahead and show you a little bit of an estimate, but there's something about the fact that clickbait videos get so little viewer retention that they don't pay nearly as much in terms of ads. People don't even watch the video. I don't even know how to explain it, but the advertisement money is not that great if you clickbait. Another reason why people do it is because of they think that if a video has a bunch of views, it's going to somehow get to more people on YouTube. And YouTube actually changed the system several years ago. Previously, it used to be based on views. So the more views that your video had, the more often it would show up and essentially the more impressions and the more people would see it. Now it doesn't work that way anymore. Now it's based on the average amount of time watched. So the total number of minutes that people have watched your videos increases the amount of people that will end up seeing your video when people search for videos on YouTube. So clickbait videos, even though they might have millions of views because of their clickbait, it's not like they're going to get shown to people who actually want to watch your video in the first place. The only people that are going to click it are people who are looking for the clickbait type bait. And those people, again, are just going to click it, leave, and probably leave a negative comment or a dislike. Okay, and now the question that I'm sure you're wondering, why did you use a clickbait type thumbnail for your video? Well, honestly, I, I couldn't really think of any other kind of thumbnail to use for a video like this. So yeah, I'm probably gonna get some negative attention that, uh, yeah. But on my other videos, I won't be using clickbait thumbnails anymore because I've taken a look at the statistics, I've taken a look at the analytics, and it quite simply just is not worth it. So you guys can look forward to nice, accurate thumbnails. Thumbs up. You can't see it, but I've got my thumbs up right now. Looking forward to the future of Good Idea Gaming. Thank you guys for listening. Hopefully you learned a little bit. If you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to like, feel free to subscribe, share with your friends, and check out all my other stories. I'm sure you guys will enjoy them very much so. If we can hit 420 likes on this video, then I will go ahead and send each and every single one of you a million dollars. Yep, guaranteed, 100%. And of course, I'm interested in hearing from you guys about any clickbait experiences. Those of you guys who click on clickbait type videos, what's your reaction? What's your response? Do you guys look for videos like that? Any kind of comments related to this kind of stuff, I'll definitely be taking a look at them. So once again, thanks again for listening, and I'll see you all very soon. Take it easy, everyone.